this uh, intellectual um, innovation. On the other hand, he was also the first pharaoh of the post-Amarna era. He was a puppet of the new leaders in Egypt, priesthood and military. In a carefully scripted decree, Tutankhamun blamed his own father, Akhenaten, for neglecting Egypt's traditional gods and plunging Egypt into chaos. When His Majesty's reign began, the temples of the gods and goddesses were in ruins. Their shrines had crumbled into piles of rubble choked with weeds. Their chapels were little more than footpaths. And the land was in chaos because the gods had abandoned it. Tutankhamun's solution to these problems was simple. There is a very important proclamation to the effect that order is being restored and then things are going to go back to the way they were before. So this is the bringing back of Amun, of the ancient gods, of the old order. The old gods, the temples, and above all the power of the priests of Amun-Re were restored. The Aten was relegated to a minor place in the Pantheon. No one went to its city. No one spoke of it. Akhenaten's heresy had simply never happened. By the time Tutankhamun was 19 and able to rule in his own right, everything seemed to have returned to normal. But that same year, Tutankhamun died suddenly and mysteriously. An examination of his skull has recently produced yet another theory concerning the Aten family, and that is that Tutankhamun may have been murdered. Uh, by whom? Question mark. It's a 